Welcome to another episode of Mexican in the Kitchen. Today I'm gonna prepare a pasta and of course we need to cook the pasta first. I'm gonna go really quickly through this because it's something that you already know. You can see the package, follow the instructions and it's quite simple. It's really important that you wait for the water to boil. I added some salt to the water and now I'm adding my pasta. This pasta says on the package I have to cook it for 9 minutes so I'm going to wait. It doesn't completely fit on the pot but after a few seconds it will start to soften up. You can just move it around until it fits and then wait for the time. You can move the pasta around a bit just to make sure it doesn't stick. Once the time has gone by I'm going to strain my pasta. I'll just put it in this strainer and leave it on the side while I make my sauce. Some people rinse the pasta with cold water after cooking, but we don't want that. Rinsing removes the starch and the starch helps us for the sauce to stick better. I have my pan on the stove on a 4 out of 6, so it's medium medium high fire. I just added some canola oil to the pan. I'm using chicken cut into small pieces, I just wanna cook it. The only seasoning I'm going to use is some salt and pepper. You could also cook the chicken on the oven or cook a whole chicken breast and then chop it or maybe shred the chicken after boiling. This is a personal preference, you can do it however you prefer. After a while my chicken is cooked, you can see some pieces start to getting this brownish color. It's getting really cold and really nice. At this point I'm going to take my chicken away and I'm going to set it apart for using it later. I'm going to use this canned with la coche or quit la coche. If you can find it fresh, it's really great. If you can find it fresh, the process should be pretty similar. This corn truffle is a fungi that grows on the corn. I just don't know if this is something that people eat outside of Mexico. I know it looks really weird, but it tastes amazing. It's very similar to truffle. I got it from Las Tunas Dorefai, so if you live in Finland, check their website. They deliver to all Finland, they have great products, great prices. I'll leave the link in the description. I have my pan on a 4 out of 6, so it's medium, medium high fire. I'm going to add a medium sized onion with a couple garlic cloves. I want to cook them and keep moving them on the pan until they start changing color, until they start to look like they're becoming see-through. At this point I'm going to add the whole can of Huitlacoche. This is a really small can, so I made pasta for about 4 people and this portion will be enough for maybe 3 or 4 people. After adding the Huitlacoche I'm just going to move it around for a few minutes, maybe 3-4 minutes. I'll just move it around so the flavors start coming out and everything mixes together and also I want the Quitlacoche to start warming up. I'm going to add some salt at this point. I'll mix it a bit, keep moving. This Quitlacoche is almost ready to eat straight out of the can. So I'm going to warm it up for a bit and I'm adding 2 deciliters of cream. This is the kind of cream you would usually use for cooking. Here in Finland it's actually called Roca Kerma or Food Cream. I took my sauce I had in my pan and now I threw it into the blender. I have half a cube of chicken stock I'm going to throw in just to give a bit more flavor. I used just a bit of extra water. This was just to rinse off the leftovers from the can but also to make it a bit easier to blend. After that I'm going to close the lid and I'm going to blend it for maybe one or two minutes. I want to make sure that everything blends nicely and it turns into a really smooth sauce. Once my sauce is ready I'm bringing it back to the pan. My pan is on a 3 out of 6 so I want a medium fire, I don't want it to be too high. I know the color doesn't seem very inviting for a lot of you, it's very odd, very uncommon, but believe me it smells amazing, the texture is nice, it's creamy, it's earthy, it's really perfect. There was a lot of sauce left over on my blender, so I'm going to use a bit of water to take that and I'm just going to mix and let the sauce to reduce back to the same texture. It will take just a few minutes, it's really easy. You can also do this until you get a thicker texture if you prefer. I think the one I got here is pretty good. After giving a last mix, I'm throwing my pasta in. You might wanna be a bit more careful and not make the mess I did in the kitchen. But at this point we just want to mix our pasta and we want to make sure our sauce covers everything correctly, everything nicely. I think Huilacoche is such an uncommon ingredient, it has such a unique flavor that every time you use it you want it to be the star of whatever dish you are making. And while this is not maybe the most common way to use it, I think it's a very simple pasta that really, really portraits the flavor of Huitlacoche in a really nice way. Once our pasta is nicely mixed, I'm going to throw in the chicken and I'm going to mix after that once again. 
I'm going to mix everything again. I really want my chicken to get covered by that sauce. I want everything to come together really nicely. And as soon as it's nicely mixed, then we can serve. For plating this, I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just putting my pasta on a plate and I'm adding one coriander leaf just to give some color, some decoration. It's not necessary, but I think this pasta doesn't need anything else. The flavors are there, textures are there. It's a really, really nice dish. This is how I make this black with la coche pasta. It's really nice. It's something very different. It's the first time I've tried this myself, but if you have tried truffle, the flavors are very similar. It's very earthy, very nice. The, I'm gonna try this for the first time, so wait a second. The color is very off. I, th I think it's not very common to find this like black pasta kind of thing. It's a bit funny because this with La Coche, here in Europe, people will throw this away because it's like a plague that corn uh, gets. In Mexico, this is a delicacy. This is actually quite pricey usually. Dishes with this, you will find maybe in some fine, dine, uh, fine dining restaurants. It's really nice, I'm gonna try this. You can get a hint of the corn, you can get the earthiness, you get this like a bit of a kind of truffle taste and texture also. It's a really nice dish, the chicken goes really nice with it. So I hope you liked it, hope you liked the idea also. Try it at home, press like, subscribe, activate the bell, those kind of things. and. See you in the next one.